extremely early tomorrow because our flight is at 8 a.m. It's just really nice chilling. I always like going to a hotel the night before you fly because it just starts the holiday early. We brought some food back to the room, had that, and then we've planned everything that we're gonna do or like everything that we wanna see. We've just done Rome first and then we'll plan what we wanna do in Barcelona in a couple of days. I'm really excited. I've just always wanted to go to Rome and Barcelona. I don't know what to expect with Rome. I can't wait for pasta and gelato, honestly. <laughs> It is. I don't even know what the time is. I think it's like half nine or something. Probably won't sleep too late. We'll see you bright and early in the morning. It's quarter past five right now. <laughs> Whenever I get up early, I always feel sick. I don't know why. Is that just me? I just could not sleep last night. I'd had one of those nights, those very rare nights where you just cannot sleep. That wasn't fun. I think also because I knew I was getting up early, my brain just didn't like that. I have not been up this early for months. I literally never wear jeans to the airport. But today we're changing that. I actually love this prayer. Tell me why it's so busy. At quarter past six. Ooh. Oh, that why? I'm really hot. It's really hot in this airport. I haven't had a prep in quite a while. Too good. I've got you two honeys. Uh, mm. mm -hmm. And just like that, we're in Rome. Excited. It's actually raining a little bit. Now we've got to work out how to get to the city centre. We made it. Look how cute that little bus is. No, stop. We just had the busiest hectic experience ever. I already love Rome. What happened was when we was in the airport, we bought this random ticket. It was a ticket for a bus and a train. So we get on it. Turns out we're on the wrong bus. That's what it says on our phone. Why is there a golf buggy on the road? That is cute. Basically, we bought a ticket for no reason because it was on the wrong bus. And then we had to get off and get the metro and the metro was packed. I don't even know how we got off it. And they give you about five seconds to get off. Like people were getting trapped in the doors and everything. <laughs> Dave thinks two or three seconds to get off. So that was an experience, but we're here now. It is just as beautiful as I thought it was gonna be. So nice. We have till three, so we have Two hours. Two hours before we can check into our hotel. We're going to go explore Piazza Navona and then the Pantheon. Please excuse me if I'm saying that wrong. On our way, we go past the Trevi Fountain, even though we're going to visit there tomorrow morning, hopefully, when it's quieter, because it's probably going to be packed. But we may as well pop and see it, because it's really beautiful. Oh, I love that palm tree. Oh my gosh, I knew it was going to be busy. Oh. Oh my days, it is busy. Wow. That is beautiful. Look how packed it is. But like that is where we need to be tomorrow morning. I don't know. Temple of Hadrian right here. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what it says online. Pretty cool, pretty neat trekking these suitcases on cobbles really really isn't ideal i really want a coffee what stop it that is so cool oh finally checked in our room is so cute actually so cute these waters love that chocolate the bathroom is lovely and a little bit of london home shoreditch Oh cute. Should we make a coffee? 100%. Oh look, that is so nice. You love these shutters as well, don't you? I do love these shutters. Oh, this is so nice. So tonight we're just gonna go a bit casual. We basically just wanna have a walk around. Go to Piazza Nev no, what is it? Piazza. Navono, Navana, something like that. 
And then this evening, we're gonna have dinner somewhere and then we're gonna go to the Spanish steps and watch the sunset, which I'm so excited for because apparently it's so nice. Yeah, I might just put a little bit of makeup on. Oh. Sorry, but our hotel is adorable. It's in the cutest little area. Stop. This is crazy. right now <laughs> we just left our hotel room we want to go to trevi fountain when there's not heaps of people hopefully imagine if we got there and everyone's doing the same thing as us the sun is just rose i actually love sunrise i find it so peaceful this is exciting another full day in rome oh my gosh look at that sky do you know what's really hard is trying to film and take photos at the same time Oh, guys, this is what we're working with right now. Everyone's doing the same thing as us. <laughs> so nice, just was not expecting it to be just as packed as it was yesterday in the afternoon. Now I need coffee. These look really good. Similar. Yeah. Chocolat. Oh. It's definitely not a pan of chocolat. Why what is it? Brioche? Yeah. That's fine. It's good. I do. Starbucks here is a lot cheaper than in the UK, which is kind of crazy. Oh yeah. Oat milk. Latte. The Starbucks pan of chocolate to see if it's like the pan of chocolate as we know. Because the one I just had was like bread. That's good. Sorted. <laughs> Stop. This is so nice. This area is so nice with the palm trees. We're just on the bus to Vatican City, which is actually a country, so it's the smallest country in the world. Oh my gosh, guys, we just queued. I'd probably say like half an hour, but this is so beautiful. Look at the amount of people there. But I think it's because this lady is making a speech right now. I feel like something's going on. Wow.
sandwich shop. It was all over TikTok when I was looking up best places in Rome. So we are gonna have to queue, but that's fine. And we went to the Vatican City, as you saw. We saw the Pope. Apparently, he does a, a speech every Wednesday. Is it every Wednesday? Every Wednesday. Every Wednesday. Every Wednesday. It's a service or a speech. Yeah, it's like a service. So that was really cool. But it was absolutely packed. Like we could not have gone at a busier time. We were queuing for the service, but we didn't realize that was going on. So there was just people everywhere. But we just had a little freshen up. Today put some cream on because it's hot. And yeah. I just can't wait to eat that sandwich. <laughs> I'm sorry. Look how incredible that looks. Oh, oh my days. I'm excited. Mine is gigantic for some reason. I don't even know how to tackle this. see this I, I did not think it was it would be that big I think we're just gonna have a wander around and then we're going in the arena at four took our photos we are gonna just have a walk around there and then it'll be time to go inside I'm really excited travels basically when i got back from the coliseum i just felt so ill like i had a temperature I did have a th sore throat this morning and it kind of just got worse as the day went on I managed to get out and my ears are like so blocked i don't know what it is that's really yeah. popular yeah it looks lovely but i'm thinking i want like a smoothie or something just to get some vitamins in because something's not quite right oh the coliseum was amazing it was kind of what i imagined but not at the same time in a good way but yeah it was so cool there's so many of these little cars like everywhere and so many motorbikes whoa that's such a cute little store oh we didn't get a souvenir oh yeah let's do that and we went to vatican city today which was so cool i think i already said that we've come to this really nice like fast pasta and pizza restaurant Cute. We're trying the bolognese. Dave's trying the bolognese. I will be trying some though. I don't know whether it was that sandwich that's made me extremely full. I don't even know. Or what. Or I'm ill. Well, I am ill, but yeah. Oh, this is the Pantheon. Don't know if I'm saying that right. But it is so ginormous and cool. It's cool because it's like we're in the city and it's just a random massive flipping so cool it's literally giant. i actually love the buildings here we're walking to get a smoothie i'm very excited it's mad because some restaurants are absolutely packed and then some are like dead it's kind of sad thank you <laughs> <laughs> you too so many things that look yeah but that would be so good do you know what i mean like, the, I bet there's so many places that are so good, but like you would never be able to find out because there's just too many places. Dave's wanting to get the gelato again that we got yesterday, the 150 flavor place. It was just so good in there. That was such a good experience. Like, I was. I flipping loved it. It was so hectic, but I kind of loved it. Mine all just got smushed together on my cone, so I couldn't, like, it kind of all mixed into one it. Do you know what I mean? Although the, the chocolate one I could really taste. We're in the souvenir store. Look how cute this is. Yeah. 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 
Yeah, yeah I kind of like that. Watch. My favourite thing about Europe is that everyone of an evening is sat outside having dinner and it's just so nice and that is something the UK just will never have. But then I guess like that's lucky for us then because then we get to experience that when we go away. Yeah, very right. Whereas like if we were used to it, it wouldn't be as special. There's these guys throwing these lights into the air, but I honestly swear he's gonna hit someone. It's gonna come down and hit someone. Is he gonna lob it? Yep, yeah, he's lobbed it. Is he gonna hit someone on the head? Oh. We're underneath like the entrance. It is so cool. This door is gigantic. What a gorgeous evening. So this is like the main sort of like street that we've been walking down a lot to get to our apartment and the 150 flavours is just down there. How cute. And that's where the sandwich shop is that we got today. And we were queuing all along here. But yeah, this is what I'm talking about. How wonderful. We're back. And we'll never get over all these flavours. Yeah, thank you. Bye. Love that place. We've sat on this bench like three times now. Look at that. We've got dark chocolate, pistachio and kinder. We 100% just found the best flavours of the shop. Dark chocolate, pistachio, and kinder it was insane cannot wait for tomorrow morning good morning it is half nine we're just going to starbucks to get some food this morning we're off to see that ginormous building that we saw when we were sat on the bus it just looked incredible first we need coffee and a nice breakfast mm, yum a little granola and yogurt. My ears are blocked, so I don't know. I can't hear myself. You're not loud. You're not. This is it. I feel like the camera doesn't even do it justice, but it is gigantic, this building. Wow. Something cool is going on. <laughs> I think it was the ambassador. Someone important was there. I don't know, it's really cool. We're gonna see if we can walk around the back and try and, you know, go up some steps or something. This is a lot of steps. This restaurant is the birthplace of the original Fettuccine Alfredo. I don't think I said that right. And it's literally a one minute walk from where we're staying. The sun is out, gorgeous. We're off to get a quick pizza. We haven't even had a pizza yet in Rome because we've been into pasta. Doggy. Hey, doggy. Oh my gosh, no. I'm got the goods we're gonna sit on our little bench that we love <gasps> oh that looks ridiculously good absolutely unreal we're just gonna eat this and then we'll be packing up and we'll be heading to the airport but we're off to barcelona which i'm really excited for thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed keep an eye out for my barcelona vlog.